is Daddy Jack's cooking with the blues here at 165 Bank Street, Chaplin's Restaurant. This is my friend Bruno Mella, chef uh, extraordinaire, and uh, we've worked together since 82. Uh, Bruno hired me in Atlanta, Georgia at the Hyatt Regency. And uh, we've been great pals ever since, and uh, associates, and uh, you know, we, we collaborate on menus, and Bruno's just come back and gonna work with us here at Chaplin's, and he's gonna show you a nice recipe of a uh, we're doing the food stroll, New London food stroll. We do it twice a year down here. And um, Welch Rarebit, it's a, like a cheese toast, but it's very famous. And Bruno's going to show you the, uh, his secret uh, family recipe for it. All right, Bruno? Okay, man. Thanks. Okay. Great being here. Right. Hey, folks. Um, as you saw just now, Jack introduced me. I've known Jack uh, 32 years, and we go way back. And uh, came here for a holiday and decided to probably uh, make a home back up here in Connecticut. I've lived in about nine, uh, seven, nine states in America and uh, I've always wanted to live up here. It's nice cool weather, I enjoy it and I like by the water. Um, this dish actually is a native, not really English dish, it's called Welsh rarebit and uh, if you ask the Welsh they probably never heard of it but it's um, uh, a more um, gourmet type of uh, cheese on toast. Uh, basically, you want a good, um, good, uh, strong cheddar. We're using Cabot cheddar. Uh, if I grate this here, so basically, if you wanted to use, uh, it's nice for, um, I would say, uh, uh, an appetizer with wine or some snacks, or you can give it for your kids, or you can actually do it on a bigger, a bigger piece of uh, bread, or larger toast point or custard, and then put a poached egg on it. You could serve for Sunday lunch. Um, first of all, you need cheese, um, a good, uh, good strong cheddar, uh, coriander and green onions, uh, minced garlic, uh, Worcester, a nice uh, Samuel Adams uh, beer. Uh, back home, I would use like a Newcastle Brown, which you can buy in this country. Uh, Guinness would be too strong, uh, but a nice dark beer. And then uh, crostini, some eggs, and then also one other thing would be. Dijon mustard. Uh, I'm going to take that now. It's my bag, I forgot to get it out. Still. Shows you slide television. <laughs> right. First of all, you take the uh, take the cheese, large hole. I would do say probably about just over, just under a pound of cheese. Grate that and get it nice and. Uh, Use all the cheese up. You need strong arms for this. And you would grate this. I will not need to grate all this because I'm just going to show you a couple of these. So you would grate all that cheese and you'll place that into, into a bowl. There you go. Then you would take um, uh, two eggs. Check the eggs are cool. Yeah, they're good. Crack the eggs into there. Add your um, cilantro, green onion, garlic, probably about that much. Maybe a teaspoon. Salt and pepper. And then, of course, Worcester. I would do a couple of tablespoons. Give it that nice flavor, and then of course beer. Beer helps it, gives it that uh, richer flavor. And um, mustard, mustard. I would say like a tablespoon. Okay, so you've got all those ingredients, and then a splash of cream. Heavy cream or half and half, whatever you got there. Now you take this and you mix this. It doesn't look too appetizing <laughs> at this stage. And in fact, actually, what I will do to, uh, to, to make this more solid, I will do more cheese. I might even finish this cheese up because we have the um, the famous. Um, I think it's Main Street or the. Uh, Annual stroll. Correct, am I right on that, Bob? It's the annual stroll. <laughs> and 
and uh, my mum used to make this for me long, long time ago when I was a kid. And um, if you if you're lazy, you don't have to do uh, you don't have to do this. You can just take people take bread and put two slices of cheese on it and brush a little Worcester and beer on. But that wouldn't be the same. And then we add some Italian breadcrumbs. I would say maybe uh, a cup for that mixture. And mix this in well. And if you actually put this in the fridge, which I've done, I'm going to show you the other mix I have. Put this in the fridge for about four or five hours. It will really marinate the cheese with the beer. And then you'll get a result of this. This is for tonight, so we obviously have a lot more as we're feeding about 600 people. We're going to do, do some pasta. The idea is you put that on the on the on the uh, bread, you know, you can really make it nice there. Let's uh, put this on the plate. Like that. And uh, like I said, you can make these larger, and then you could, um, you, you, you put them on the, under the oven or under a broiler toaster. And when they all start to bubble up, you've got the beer, the eggs, the Worcester, it's all working in. And it's really a nice, it's a great, it's a great, uh, even an amuse you could give for uh, people if they came into the restaurant. And you, uh, as I say, bake it in the oven or do that. And then you just give, uh, one it's very filling, but it's real awesome. So I hope you can try this at home. And, uh, finished top them off with a bit of that Welsh rabbit voila okay guys now we've mixed it you saw me do the mixture you place these on a sheet tray I would normally fill this up but for the film I'm going to show you like this we place it in the hot oven probably on about uh, 400 degrees and I'm going to slip them in and let them bubble up and they should take about five minutes and then I'll show you the result Okay folks, we're about halfway now. You can see it's starting to glaze and it'll get really nice and me melting and oozy. The one thing you've got to remember with this, when you pop it in your mouth when it's finished, you don't want it too hot, otherwise you burn your mouth. But it'll start bubbling and it'll be good. About two more minutes to go. Thank you. Okay folks, this is about ready now. As you can see, five minutes, nice and bubbly. We put this on a nice plate and it's ready to ready to uh, pass around and as I said very hot great with some nice uh, Italian wine even beer you want to have a beer party but it's a great a great uh, icebreaker at a party it's nice and hot and coriander the cilantro I call it, may have called it coriander that's what they say in England for cilantro but uh, let me finish this up Hey. Voila. Welsh rabbit.